Okay, so let's make this uh, surface here, uh, which should be really easy. Uh, I don't have other reference images for this, but uh, let's see if I, let's just go to layout. This is what we have. I'll add a plane, uh, delete shift, add a plane. It's going to be around this size. Maybe go over just a bit like that. Something like that. I can use a mirror modifier for this. Add a mirror there. Select this side. Delete that. Go to modifiers. Make sure the audio is good. Uh, add a mirror modifier. I'll turn on cavity and uh, shadows and also random colors. So, so that I see clearly uh, around there. I think you can add some small details there. So at here, you can add a loop around here, maybe extend this a bit like this. And uh, we can push this a bit down can slide this to into the edge, to that edge, and then grab this, push it down just a bit, select this outer loop, extrude that down, and uh, give it some thickness like that, and then extrude this. So the assets we are making here can be optimized to be used in game, and I can see how we're using the textures. And uh, since we baked our textures, uh, we, we can export uh, the textures we used in two different uh, programs like Unreal Engine. And uh, maybe I'll do a tutorial on how, to, how we can do that. So grab this. So this is going to be our base here. Like that. And uh, we can turn this into faces. Uh, join this to that, like that, and uh, do the same here, like that. So I'm trying to avoid ingons. I will have an ingon here, so to remove that, we can just maybe connect this with this. And just do this that and so this is what we have uh, so now we can uh, go to e to edit mode so we can go to UV edit editing remove this uh, if you mesh turns white like this when you are in texture mode just go to edit mode and tab out let's see i think this even looks better than this i like this better than this but uh, so um, let's see if we unwrap this so we can mark seams for this like uh, that Control e mark seam and then do the same this side Control e mark seam I think we can add um, a seam there as well. And uh, now we can apply the mirror modifier, then unwrap. So let's start uh, piling up the textures. So we can go to shading and see what we have. And uh, preview this. So we can use asphalt here uh, for this uh, texture here. So I can, I have some textures here, but I, I don't want to use all these. I'll just use uh, the, the color map here. So I'll call this asphalt, asphalt, drag that into here, connect this as the base color. I see the scale of this is massive. So can use control T uh, to bring up uh, the mapping and uh, increase the size of this tremendous to about let's see something reasonable like that so this is what we have 
Uh, another thing I can add is uh, the ambient occlusion uh, input. So let me see, um, make sure you have ambient occlusion enabled, uh, but uh, in EV, so it's enabled. And then we can add, we can now add, uh, we can mix it with the color. So color, mix RGB, connect the ambient, uh, connect it to the bottom, change this to multiply, and then connect this there, and then this to the color map. So you can see what happens there. Uh, so to have more control, we can change we can add a color ramp here and uh, increase it a bit or just come here to the distance and uh, increase that just a bit like that. Now save. So we might want to make this darker, this asphalt darker. So let me see if I have a different. So let me find some cracked textures and I think we can also use the same dirty map we used earlier to make this a bit dirty so I'll just select this control T control, control shift uh, to preview this I'll change I'll add mapping to this and uh, use object mapping this time and change this to flat and uh, flat sorry box and uh, increase the bending of the blending. For some reason I'm not seeing any results for this. Oh, the results are not obvious. So let me scale this up a bit. So scale this up a bit. Maybe let's just go back to, to UV. Change this to flat. Uh, scale this. a bit like that and uh, maybe scale this around there and around there so we can shift D connect this here out to the top and connect this to the bottom preview this can see this is what we have but uh, that texture is too overwhelming so we can change this to overlay uh, it's too much we can change this to soft light still too much but uh, we can use this slider now you can see how this is becoming more how it's giving us that variation in the texture uh, that is nice maybe let's just put it around there and now we can find some crack textures. Crack, I'll just do a quick search here, crack texture. And uh, if you can find a tileable ones, that would be even better. But uh, if you can't, you can just go with whatever you have uh, there. So I'll find some uh, textures to use here and I'll see you in the next tutorial.